There's really no question that 2011 is the year of the smart TV. And just looking around here at IFA 2011, every single manufacturer is getting in on the act. But they're all going about it in a slightly different way. So we're taking a rundown of all the major manufacturers' efforts at putting internet-capable TVs into your living room. Now, first up, we're looking at a Sony Bravia smart TV and Sony's own particular interface for accessing internet-capable apps through your television. So you can see right behind me, we've got a Video Unlimited uh, subscription service. Now, you could just as easily have Love Film, for example, and this allows you to directly access a movie and stream it onto your TV. So there's clearly a selection of films available and you can use your remote control to access these. Now looking here we can see that Sony have got a very familiar PlayStation style system for accessing the apps and the widgets. So here it's accessed via a Blu-ray player which is internet capable. And you can see you've got video options which will take you to YouTube or various video subscription services and direct access to the internet all via the same menu system. Now some of the prime examples of the apps you can get course the ever popular Facebook. So here you've got a side window with your Facebook status updates whereas here you've got the picture of your favourite football game in progress. As well as Facebook there's Skype access so that Sony Bravia's internet capable TVs allow you to make Skype calls from the TV. What you'll need though is an additional webcam to connect to the top of the TV. So here we are looking at LG's smart TV offering and unlike Panasonic's LG have got something a little bit of a different approach. So Panasonic have got their own Viera technology for the smart TV. LG have decided that they want some friends. So LG have got together with Sharp and Philips to coordinate their approach to the smart TV apps. That means you'll have effectively the same smart TV app store whether you're buying a Philips TV, a Sharp TV or an LG TV. And what's the benefit of that? Well it means app developers are hopefully, according to LG, going to feel more inclined to develop apps on a shared platform rather than having to make one for LG, one for Philips, one for Sharp, etc. You'll also notice in my hand here, I've got a Wii-style remote control, so a bit like the Nintendo Wii, but just for the LG TV. I can use this, and it's motion sensitive, to go between all of the apps. So right here, I've got what's live on the TV. There's the BBC iPlayer app, a YouTube app, ITN. I can go to 3D content, and it can even go down to a web browser here. Now, Toshiba's smart TV platform looks a little bit different to what we've seen from LG or from Philips, who share the same platform. So here we go, this is Toshiba's, and it's based on Toshiba's places. Now, the idea is that it groups all of your main interactions into certain places. So there's your video place, moving along, music place, where you can have your own tracks and your own albums there, the social place. Now, social place has the Toshiba places social platform, but it also allows you to connect to Facebook. You can actually see, just up here in the top corner of the screen, this symbol is for the Toshiba Places, and this one is for Facebook, so you have your own account for each. The bottom of the screen actually is normally where the picture-in-picture -picture would be, so the live TV would be down there. So you can usually keep track of uh, what's going on in your TV with your electronic program guide, so moving along to that, with news services, or if we go along to the social place and see what's going on on Facebook, it shows you your Facebook inbox, you can access your wall, you can see photos on Flickr. So it's a really interactive TV based on people who do a lot of social networking as well. Now moving on to Panasonic's offering, what we have here is the Panasonic Viera Connect interface. So what you can see, we've got a smart Viera TV that's able to connect to the internet. And interestingly, you've got a few different options for accessing the menu, as well as the remote control just down here. You can use a wireless keyboard, or even more interestingly, you can use an iPad. So here up on the screen, we've got several different apps that I can interact with. There's an app specifically for Skype. There's one for YouTube. There's one for Facebook for accessing the Blu-ray player. And of course, there'll be a live TV app. You can also access the Viera Marketplace where you can add more apps to your TV. Now, interestingly, you can gesture between each of the apps using the iPad interface. So scrolling left and right, and then tapping on the screen, you can pick out an app that you want. So if you add on a webcam, you can make Skype calls just like you could on the Sony TV. So there you have it, a roundup of just some of the manufacturers providing smart TVs designed for your living room. Now at witch.co.uk, we already have reviews of some of the latest smart TV platforms. So do check us out to see what's on offer currently in the market. For much more, check out witch.co.uk forward slash techdaily.